Hello, and welcome to the Gold Award Workshop. After this workshop, please complete the Gold Award Workshop question and answer review to record your attendance. Let's get started. In today's workshop, we are going to discuss what it takes to earn your Gold Award. First, we will discuss the prerequisites to the award. Then, we will walk through the seven steps. You will also be introduced to Gold Gold Online and will learn what paperwork needs to be submitted when. I'm referring to your proposal and final report. Let's begin with the prerequisites. You must be in high school or equivalent. You must be a currently registered Girl Scout senior or ambassador. And you must have completed two senior or ambassador journeys or earned the Girl Scout Silver Award and completed one journey. After you've checked off those requirements, your next step is to attend a Gold Award workshop, which you're doing right now. When you're done watching, be sure to complete a question and answer review. It will be graded and you will receive an email with your score. We consider a passing grade to be a six out of seven or higher. As you plan out your project, remember that GSUSA suggests a minimum of 80 hours to be spent on the project from beginning to end. Now, we're ready to talk about the seven steps. Start by identifying a community issue that you're passionate about. If you already have one in mind, think about it as we go through the steps. If you haven't selected an issue yet, start broad and narrow it down. For example, maybe it's the environment you care about. More specifically, you could focus on global warming, natural disasters, pollution, or loss of endangered species. The more narrow your focus, the easier it will be to create a project. Say you've settled on global warming as your community issue. Now you need to investigate your issue thoroughly. Interview experts, research online, visit your local library. This is also where you'll want to identify national or global links to your project. It's important your project addresses the root cause of the community issue, not just a symptom. Next, it's time to get help and build your team. Who can help you? If your issue is global warming, maybe a scientist can help you. You could reach out to a local solar power company or other organizations who focus on renewable energy. You should also use this time to select a project advisor. Your project advisor should be a subject matter expert on the topic of your project. They will be the one who provides you with resources and guidance along the way. Please remember your project advisor cannot be a family member or troop leader. Before I move on, let's do a quick review. So far, you have identified an issue and investigated it in depth. Then you gathered your team and selected your project advisor. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, it's time to create a plan. To do this, you will log on to Gold Gold Online, GSUSA's Gold Award platform to fill out your Gold Award proposal. Remember, you are not permitted to begin working on your project before submitting or having your proposal approved. Of course, you will have identified an issue and gathered your team, but you will need to wait for approval before you can go any further. You can expect the following questions in the Gold Award proposal. A description of your issue and your reasons for selecting the project, your plan of action, expected expenses and how you plan to cover them, evaluation methods, meaning how you measure your success, and your sustainability and advocacy plans. GSUSA also provides helpful tools and resources inside Go Gold Online, so be sure to check them out. This is also the part where you decide who the beneficiary of the project will be. Your project could support a local school, nonprofit, government, and effective October 1st, 2018, Gold Award projects can benefit Girl Scout communities and our facilities. I want to emphasize that the decision for Girl Scouts or a Girl Scout facility to be the beneficiary should not happen before this step. To present your proposal to Council, click Submit after you complete steps 1 through 5 on your Gold Award proposal in Gold Gold Online. Once any necessary changes are made, your proposal will be sent to the Gold Award Committee to review. Please give the committee one to two weeks to provide their feedback or give approval. Your proposal is approved. What's next? Your proposal will be marked as approved in Gold Gold Online. Now it is time for you to take action. Let's talk about what it means to create a take action project. A take action project addresses the root cause of an issue, has long-term measurable benefits, and ensures sustainability. Let's put this in the context of global warming. One of the root causes of global warming is human activities, like burning fossil fuels. When we burn fossil fuels like coal and gas to create electricity or power our cars, we release CO2 pollution into the atmosphere. Now we need to come up with a project that will have long-term measurable results that reduces CO2 pollution. Installing a bike sharing rack in your town would reduce the number of cars on the road by offering an affordable alternative to driving. 
You could even build a solar power canopy to protect the bikes from weather while generating clean energy. That is a take action project that ensures sustainability long after your involvement. One of the most important components of your Gold Award project is to educate and inspire your community. This is where advocacy comes in. Advocacy can take many different forms. For example, you could write an op-ed and submit it to your local newspaper. Or you could host a workshop at a local library. You could hand out brochures, create a website, or attend a town hall meeting and speak to your local Congress people. The options are endless. Most importantly, you'll want to reflect on what you've learned when you submit your final report to council. You will do so by logging back into Go Gold Online, the same place where you submitted your proposal at the beginning. The proposal is steps one through five in Go Gold Online. The final report will be steps six and seven. You can expect to submit your time and budget log and answer questions like, what is the root cause of your project? How will it be sustained? And what you would do differently next time? Now that you've made the climb this far, let's take a second to review the Girl Scout Gold Award seven steps in order. Number one, choose an issue. In our example from before, that was global warming, and more specifically how the burning of fossil fuels negatively impacts our environment. Use your values and knowledge to identify a community issue you care about. Number two, investigate. Research everything you can about the issue. Do so using a variety of resources. Interview people, read books and articles, and find professional organizations online to become an expert in your issue. Number three, get help. Invite others to support and take action with you. This is where you will build your team and recruit a project advisor who is an expert in the field of your Gold Award topic. Number four, create a plan. Create a project plan that achieves sustainable and measurable impact. In the example from before, that was installing a bike sharing rack to provide a cleaner alternative to driving a car and building a solar canopy to protect the bikes and put renewable energy back onto the power grid. Number five, present your plan and get feedback. Now you're ready to sum up your project plan and submit your proposal to council using Go Gold Online. After you pass the Q&A review, you will receive a link to log in and create an account in Go Gold Online. Number six, take action. Take the lead to carry out your plan. At this point, you've received approval from the Gold Award Committee, and it's time to bring your project to life. Number seven, educate and inspire. Share what you've experienced with others, and you can inspire the next generation of Gold Award Girl Scouts. We've got just a few more things to cover. We want to give you a breakdown on financing your Gold Award, important dates to remember, how to document your project, and what to expect once you've earned your Gold Award. If you're like most girls, you will have some expenses for your Gold Award project. We will discuss what ways are appropriate to fund your Gold Award. Your options include using personal money you've saved from, say, babysitting, cookie dough or nutty bucks, and troop funds if approved. For cookie dough and nutty bucks, you will purchase your items and then keep the receipts to be reimbursed. Let's say you don't have personal money, cookie dough slash nutty bucks, or troop funds to spend. What can you do? You can host a money earning activity, which are non-branded events like bake sales, spaghetti dinners, or garage sales. A money earning activity must be approved by council using the Application for Troop Money Earning Project form, which can be found in the form section of the website. In order to be approved, you must have participated in the most recent fall product and cookie program. Looking for another way to fund your project? Girl Scout seniors and ambassadors may solicit philanthropic donations to their councils of cash or in-kind goods for Gold Award projects, provided they have secured prior written permission from council. In-kind donations are the actual goods or services you need for your project. For example, instead of asking for $100 to buy bicycles, you could ask for the bikes themselves. You may also apply for grants that relate to the topic of your project. Remember, when applying for a grant, only ask for what you need. Most grants will require you to report back your results and how you spent the money. Let's review the different ways you can fund your gold award. You can use personal money, cookie dough, nutty bucks, or troop funds. You can create a money earning activity. You can solicit for cash or in-kind donations, or you can apply for a grant. Let's go over some important dates. You want to write these down and make reminders for yourself. The first important date is March 15th. If you want to be recognized at the next Young Women of Distinction Award Ceremony, you must have your final report submitted and approved by March 15th. For this reason, we recommend you submit your final report through Go Gold Online no later than March 1st, so the Gold Award Committee has time to review, offer feedback, and ultimately approve your project. If you miss the March 15th deadline, you will be recognized at not this year's Young Women of Distinction, but the next, over a year away. So this deadline is very important. 
The last important date to remember is September 30th, the year you graduate from high school. This is the very last date you are eligible to earn your gold award. Please do not wait until the last moment to submit your final report. Let's go over those dates in order one more time. March 1st. Recommended deadline to submit your final report through Google Gold Online to have it approved by March 15th, which is the date you'll need approval by in order to be recognized at the upcoming Young Woman of Distinction Award Ceremony. You can expect the Young Woman of Distinction Award Ceremony to fall sometime in May. Please contact Council or visit our website for an exact date. Although we highly encourage girls to earn their gold award prior to their senior year, it is important that you know that September 30th of the year you graduate from high school is the last day you are eligible to earn your gold award. Remember, it's important you document your gold award project along the way. You can do so with photos and videos. Try to have someone accompany you when you work on your project so they can get shots of you in action. A quick tip. When you're shooting photos or videos, please keep the orientation horizontal, also known as landscape. That makes it easier to eventually incorporate into your Gold Award video. Time to celebrate. Let's fast forward to when you earn your Gold Award. What can you expect to happen afterwards? We will need a headshot of you in your Girl Scout uniform, any photos and videos of your Gold Award project, which you will also upload in Step 6 of Gold Gold Online as part of your final report. And we'll need you to mark your calendar for the Young Women of Distinction Award Ceremony. This is where we will recognize you for all of your hard work. After March 15th, a council staff member will contact you to schedule your Gold Award video and photo shoot. Please be as flexible as possible when it comes to scheduling the shoot. It is a lot to coordinate, but we know it's worth it. If you're not in town to do the video shoot, we will definitely need a headshot and as many photos of your project as possible. Next on the list of things to expect is Young Women of Distinction, which typically falls in late May. At Young Women of Distinction, you will be presented with your certificate and pen on stage. You are welcome to invite friends, family, and mentors to celebrate this achievement with you. You'll be asked to create a display, typically a trifold board, so you can share your project with guests. We also schedule family and group photos with a photographer. We typically require Gold to Work Girl Scouts to arrive at noon, but please double check that time with council as you get closer. Each year is a little different, and you can expect some other fun surprises, but those are the larger items that we ask you to plan ahead for. Thank you so much for joining us for this Gold Award Workshop. What are you going to do next? That's right, take the Gold Award question and answer review. If there's anything we can assist you with, please contact us at awards at gsgcf.org or 800-232-4475. On behalf of everyone here at Girl Scouts of Gulf Coast, Florida, we wish you the best of luck.